Texas, a Texas man, bond set at $4 billion. And that's believed to be the highest ever in the U.S. Uh, now, the newly elected Texas Justice of the Peace made a mockery of the process by setting a accused murderer's bond at a record setting $4 billion. Now, Claudia Brown issued this stiff bail last week for Antonio Willis. Here's a picture of Mr. Willis, who is charged with killing another man at a home uh, in Texas back in December. It is believed that this is the highest bond ever. I can't think of anything else being higher than that. Uh, and, and, and it's crazy. So why is the bail so high? That's that's just what a lot of people want to know. Um, but uh, it, it the bail, the number so high that they couldn't even input it in the software uh, for the Bales County Jail. Now, um, they had to enter another number. Now, his lawyer, the accused murderer's lawyer, Billy Ray Hall Jr., said that he's confident that the bond will be trimmed down when he makes the request to the state uh, judge. Now, another attorney, Michael White, told the Temple Daily Telegram that the bond was designed to make sure the defendant appears in court and is not meant to be a punitive measure. So, arbitrarily, uh, judges just throw out random numbers? I mean, wh where did she get that number from? Like, that is is a, a crazy number, more from the lawyer. He says that, this justice of the peace is abusing the bail process in an attempt to make a name for herself as opposed to setting a reasonable and affordable bond as required by law. And he says that it makes a mockery of the process and a fool of her. Uh, another lawyer said that the $4 million bond could be challenged as unconstitutional. The Eighth Amendment protects against cruel and unusual punishment and specifically refers to protections against excessive bail or fines. That is excessive. Uh, $4 billion. Uh, let us know your thoughts in the comments section, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, at The Dominic K Show, at Radio on Fire.